Okay, so in this video, um, you know, we've created the model, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it at this stage, the way it is. Um, I'm pretty happy with it, to be honest. I think it looks, it looks like her, even though it's just a grey model at this stage, um, which is a good sign, I guess, because it can only get better from here. Um, I'm going to just give you a few tips on what you can do um, to kind of, well, things that you need to do before you unwrap, I guess. As you can see, I have put kind of an eye texture, brown eye texture uh, on the spheres that I popped in there. But I'm going to pull those eyes out for a minute. Oh no, I pulled her eyeballs out. The next thing I'm going to be doing is going on to Edit Poly and selecting the edges around here, around the actual eye um, lids. The reason why is, you know, we've got this empty gap in the middle here. And we definitely don't want that when it comes to, um, you know, finalizing our model, because we don't want gaps on the sides of our eyes, do we? So I'm just going to shift and drag this back. Don't worry if you're looking at it from the inside or whatever; it doesn't really matter. Or you can go into your side view, press Alt and X, um, and then shift and drag back. And see how we've just got this tube type kind of feel going on there but we don't want that we don't want kind of a tube um, we want to kind of use the middle of the scale tool just to scale it down to pretty much a point so go as far as it will go and once it is down to a point you kind of want to you want to click and drag over that point like so so you've got all the vertices selected and there will be quite a few just there as you can see you see how there's a, like a little group of them just there we're going to go to weld and as you can see you know you want to kind of adjust this um, weld threshold until it welds them all into one point so I go around the front now it's actually just going to be one polygon uh, one one vertice just there just like that perfect so now when you pop pop the eye in it's going to have a nice kind of backing on it so it doesn't look like that eye is just floating in there uh, you can give it the depth you want. You know, you kind of want to give it a decent amount of depth. You don't want it to be, you know, flat out like this, like so. So you just want to pull it back a good amount like that. So let's just pop those eyes back in there. Like so. And you can see straight away it's looking a lot better because it looks like, you know, there's there's some surrounding for the eye so it makes it look a lot more human it makes it look a lot more realistic and it stops the eyes looking so goddamn scary and serial killer like so just gonna save that and I'm going to move on to the the mouth I mean I've done something similar for the nostrils where I've extruded in and stuff like that but I want to do something similar for the mouth as well but I'm deciding whether to do it or not um, I think I will because otherwise I'll have an issue later if I want to animate it or do anything like that where um, it will just be too hollow so I'm going to do a similar thing here I've just hit the loop button again and this time it has just selected that kind of looped area around there I'm just going to shift and drag that back a certain amount like so, kind of the thickness of the lips of what what you think it would be. And then from that stage, we're just going to shift and drag again. This time we're going to scale out because we want to create some a small kind of opening. Um, let's scale in height only though because we don't want to add too much width in here. So just in height, so it just spreads that out. It looks a bit kind of wonky at the minute, but what I'm going to be doing is just selecting the verts and moving them up. You know, there's different ways to do this. A lot of people do this in different ways, but this is a really kind of quick and easy way of of adding kind of depth in the mouth. Uh, from this stage, um, we just want to bridge from the top to the bottom so we're going to just start with these two so select that edge there and that edge there hit bridge select the next two so make sure you're selecting those two 
bridge, that and that bridge, that one and that, oh, not that one, that one bridge, and I think that's about it. So you've kind of got some depth in the mouth now. And you may want to um, just kind of curve that out the other way because at the minute it is curving in a peculiar way, I guess. If you're looking at it from the top, see how it's curving? So I just want to kind of change the way it is curving. So just go into here, just pull that a little back, pull these forward and pull this back like so oh, something went wrong no, it's just that I've missed out these two um, so yeah, that's looking better and then what you can do is just apply a smoothing group as well because we don't want the kind of outside of the lip to have an hard to have a hard edge just there like that. We want it to be kind of a soft edge. So we're just gonna select the inside of the mouth as well. It's just like so. Just that whole area. Don't worry if you've got the back selected because it is just gonna be on the same smoothing group one as before. So just click one. And there we have area done. Now because we've kind of given it a smoothing group it's um, it's kind of added a shading or a shadow just there so you can kind of rectify that a little bit by putting in a connect so if I just press F4 there is a kind of a an edge in there so I don't actually need to connect actually so what, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select one of the edges on the inside one of these just here like so I'm gonna hit loop so it loops around and selects the top and bottom and just move it forward and as I move forward it will kind of reduce the amount of shading on this area here and also if I just pull it down slightly as well see how that's changing it's getting brighter it's just so it kind of rounds it out a little bit so it's not so such a sharp change of angle so just some really simple kind of tips to make your uh, to make your character's lips look more realistic and give it some good depth there we have it so just save that so in fact I'm going to have to unwrap it in the next video now because um, I found all this stuff to do in this video. So hopefully, you know, these little tips were helpful and it will, again, it will make your life so much easier when it comes uh, to the future, when it comes to kind of animating and doing all these kinds of things and, you know, you want to move the eyes or whatever, then you're not going to have an issue by having gaps on the side or having a big, like, hollow skull. So it actually looks like there's a mouth and that there's a, you know, a mouth area with its own volume that we've just created. So yeah, to unwrap the head, um, you will have to move on to the next video, and I promise I will be unwrapping the head in the next video.